Blackthorn and Mariko break up. John rushes to Mariko, who is sitting alone in a remote part of the forest, rather than fulfilling Fuji's request to dispose of the rotting pheasant. John is informed by Mariko that they shouldn't be seen together anymore. If Mariko wants to get rid of Buntaro, John instructs her to do it. He is told a story by Mariko about the swords he is carrying. She claims that in order to maintain Fuji's feeling of honor for her father, her grandpa purchased the swords from an inebriated warrior, not because her father died a hero. Mariko makes a connection between this story of ignorance and the reality that she is refusing to give Buntaro what he truly desires, her hatred. John makes the point that Mariko is being wounded in the end and shouldn't be making herself go through this in order to exact revenge on Buntaro. That man is a moron, and he won't get Mariko's clever kind of discipline. And what good is it if he doesn't realize that he is being punished? Mariko warns John to stay away from her and will not stop doing what she is doing, even if it means being a little more overt in her disdain of Buntaro. You're disgust for him if you want to be free of that. She knows nothing and we say nothing. Merits. Dad? Oh, forgive me, but you, you'll never be free of this prison. If you love our videos, kindly drop a thumbs up and a comment on what you think of these scenes. Also hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification because you are our superhero.